Hey, look at Ronnie with the new Vegas look. He's got the I big know, handlebar mustache. Ronnie. When I spoke to you on the phone, I was going to bust your balls a bit because like, you were like, Vegas is so great, man. It's so great Dude, here. I'm it's enjoying so it. I don't know why that bothers you. No, no. You could admit that a hundred. it's going to be it's 110 hot. degrees. Yeah. Dude, it's hot. I know it's hot. Yeah. But at night, it's beautiful. Oh, at night. night. No, when the sun goes down and it's only 107. <laughs> I'll play a couple of clips of Ronnie saying goodbye to his house in New York before he left. That was weird leaving that house. It was. Yeah, sure. Every memory he had was related to sex. I bet. <laughs> All right, we're going in the bathroom. This is where I piss. This is where, but I don't shit here because I shit downstairs. I like the toilet downstairs better. Why? Don't fucking break my balls about this. Ronnie, any fond memories from this bathroom? Oh, yeah. Shit went down in here. Showers. Showers. Sink. Well, not in the sink, but I came up behind you a couple of times. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> if you could explain to the listeners. What's to explain? I came up behind her. She was standing here naked at the sink. That's as far as I'm going with this part of the story. That's it. The, the shower? What If the walls could talk. There's the shower. It's got all the, the heads. The spray on your pussy and your dick and everything else. Stephanie uses it. Sometimes. She uses it for, uh, she sits on her little seat and gets herself off. Goodbye, shower. Can't wait to get out of here. Uh, then he then he said goodbye to the kitchen. Listen to this. <laughs> what room is this? What What do you mean, what room is this? You can't tell? It's a kitchen? Or the people listening with the other... Yeah, like the people can't see a refrigerator and a fucking stove and a sink. Okay, people, it's a fucking kitchen. And it's yellow. So I'm, I'm sure I'm going to catch shit about that. All right? Colors were in. Now they're not. Any <laughs> sexual en encounters in the kitchen? No, just like gr grab our ass in the kitchen by the sink sometimes. That's it. Stephanie, any sexual encounters in the kitchen? When I'm doing the dishes, he likes to, to grab my ass, stick his hands down my pants or pull them down. Yeah, I, oh, one time I pulled him down. I stuck my dick, I stuck my dick in your ass. Remember? Yeah. Your hands were in the sink <gasps> oh and you couldn't God. do nothing. <laughs> we, where, what, where was the scene of the crime? At the sink. The sink. She was doing the dishes. Came up behind her, pulled her pants down, whipped out my dick, and put my dick in her ass. Were you thrusting or? No, I just told you what I did, okay? Yeah, enjoy the kitchen, no owners. Maybe you'll take your wife's <laughs> pants down at the sink too and stick your dick in there. Eh. Don't stick your hands in that water in the sink, Ronnie's around. <laughs> anyway, we ended the tour in Ronnie's living room where he was reminiscing about the blowjobs he received in there. Whatever you see here in the living room, and dining room is going with us pretty much. If these walls could talk, what are some memories you have? I don't know. We never, we never did anything in here except a couple of blowjobs on the chair. Were you sitting <laughs> down? In yeah, here. I was sitting down. It's their, their theater chairs. They recline. So I was sitting here and Stephanie was sitting here. This was the good old days in the beginning, you know, when everything is new. You know, she was sitting in the chair with me and uh, somehow oh, my dick wound up out. And she was playing with my dick <laughs> for a while and then she blew me in the chair. That was it. It's oh. just a wonderful story. Goodbye, house. It was just fun while it lasted. And now it's time to move on to bigger and better things. A new life. I agree with that. A new life where I'll melt into the sidewalk, according to certain people. <laughs> we told uh, Ronnie to say goodbye to different items in his house, and then we put it to a song as he said his farewells. Hey, uh, Ronnie Mund, you're moving to Las Vegas. Anything in your house you want to say goodbye to? Yeah, goodbye to that armoire over there with the mirrors on it. Goodbye to the armoire. Goodbye to the TV that's not going. So long, TV. Goodbye, ceiling fan, which I hate. Adios, ceiling fan. I hate the ceiling fan. Why do you hate the ceiling fan? Because all it does is move hot air around. It gives you a fucking draft on your neck. Getting old, your bones are creaking. Anything else you want to say goodbye to? Goodbye, tablecloth. I fucking hate you. Go fuck yourself, tablecloth. <laughs> I've hated you from the day you've been on the table. I never wanted you. I'm not going to miss you at all, and I can't wait to rip you up and throw you in the garbage. Fucking tablecloth. Here, here's the tablecloth that I'm going to rip up. I hate. It makes you sick. And I'm going to throw it away, and that's going to be the end of it. I hate the tablecloth, okay? Go fuck yourself, tablecloth. Go and fuck yourself, okay? Tablecloth. Goodbye to the whole house. I can't wait. That's it. That's it. And I'm throwing it out. Go and fuck yourself, okay? Tablecloth. Go fuck yourself, tablecloth. Yeah, that's called Go Fuck Yourself Tablecloth, uh, <laughs> Ronnie's new hit song. <laughs>